Tchardenko continues to push his Soviet forces into Western Europe, seizing control of key regions left behind by the retreating allies. Great Britain now stands as the last European nation yet to fill the jackboot of Soviet aggression. That might be short-lived, however, as sources tell us that a vast Soviet armada has been spotted off the northern coast of France. Commander, I'm Field Marshal Robert Bingham, Chief of the Allied Military Command. I've been told that you're a very capable officer. Well, let's hope this assessment is correct, as all our senior commanders are now fighting in Europe, leaving the defense of Great Britain entirely in your hands. I'd like you to meet Lieutenant Ava. She will be your intel officer and communications liaison. Glad to have you on board, sir. Field Marshal, the President is ready for you. Mr. President, I'd like you to meet our new commander on the ground. Greetings, Commander. You ready to send those commies running back to their mommies? I sure hope so, because if you don't stop them over there, the only thing standing between those godless Reds and the U.S. of A. is going to be one little ocean. I absolutely agree, Mr. President. We cannot allow the Soviets to secure a foothold in Great Britain. The fate of the free world depends upon it. Soviets have conquered much of Europe with brute force. Now, they are trying to invade England by attacking a virtually defenseless civilian city, Brighton Beach. Commander, we must hold the line and defend against the Soviet advance. If they take Brighton Beach, it's a straight shot to London. All of Europe will fall. We cannot let that happen. Brighton Beach is under siege by Soviet forces. The city must be liberated so we can bolster our defenses against additional waves. Hey everyone, welcome back to Command Conquer Red Alert 3 and welcome to the Allied campaign. We will do indeed. So, our job here is to defend the UK from a Soviet invasion, which shouldn't be too hard, so bark and then kill them yeah, if you pay attention to the map there oh bears the map was oh uh, oh no I lost the bear but it's okay the map showed Iceland Greece North Africa and Turkey as being neutral as well as yeah, parts of Germany Denmark and the Netherlands being mostly Soviet free Interestingly, that doesn't really line up with the other campaign where Iceland is. Ooh, hoo, hoo, wow! You got, you just got shotgun. Should probably gather these guys here too. Giles, are you, are you doing anything? I guess you, you only come in when, when these guys here have been liberated. In this fake battle here, where everybody's shooting the ground. Yeah. So Iceland has the von Essling. Air Force Base, so it shouldn't be uh, it shouldn't be neutral at all. In fact, it should be one of the main bases. Even though Iceland is, well, it recent until recently it had an American garrison, but I think that has been dissolved, or at least is it's going to be dissolved in the future. Yeah, Iceland doesn't have its own armed forces. Does have a, a medical corps, but oh, can't use that. But it's okay. These guys, you pay no attention to this dock here. It has a medical corps which. Is its contribution to to? I'm not quite sure whether it's a NATO member. I think it is, but it's, it's contribution to UN missions, and the United States uh, were responsible for Iceland's defense. And then again, who's going to attack Iceland unless we've got the Third World War? So it's not exactly not exactly exposed in that sense. Anyway, enough about international real life politics. Back to colorful video game non-politics. So let's kill these guys here. I like how these guys here don't help out at all. Oh wow, that looked brutal. Anyway, this base will be your staging area against the incoming attack waves. You have been assigned a co-commander for this mission. 
He will aid in the defense of Great Britain. Quite a mess this is. Uh, name's Giles, Commander. And I'm not about to let these commies secure a foothold in our backyard. I'll be right at your side the entire time. That's good to know. Even the bees. So you can hang around here. The are closing in with an airborne force. It looks like they're going to paradrop into the city. We cannot let them take Brighton Beach. You must hold them off. New objective received. Training. So let's get a couple of engineers. We may as well repair these beach guns here, of which there are the civilian population four. Been evacuated. Your inventory may garrison the deserted structures for protection. New that's bonus objective received. Scanning perimeter. I'm not quite sure that's actually a good idea because there's a chance that they will just molotov the infantry out of here. So let's not get our elite guys in there. Instead, let's get you in there. So you can take the hospital because infantry healing is probably a good idea for this mission here. And what else do I have to garrison? I guess I can just send these guys in and out of here. If that's one one way to handle the situation. Yeah, if I remember correctly, they have Molotovs, so it might not be a good idea to actually get these guys in here. But we'll see. And for some reason that didn't count. Capture the hospital, already added. So, so you're on your way, you can take the beach gun. And you can take that other beach gun. So, does this now ca Oh, I guess I have to send someone in, the, in that other building, even though it's this building. Oh, actually, there we go. So, there we go. And let's get some. Do you actually want dogs? I think I want a couple more peacekeepers if possible. So, you can. Oh, you already were repaired. There we go. I'm going to try to complete all the bonus objectives for this campaign here. For all campaigns, that is. And you've just faced through that fence, my friend. Yeah, let's save the rest of the money. Because probably, we can probably use it later. Can we actually build anything interesting? No, we cannot. So, there's Giles with some dogs, some more shotgunners. Oh dear. There they come. The Badger Bombers. I think those are Badger Bombers. And the music is dramatic. Hope they don't drop Tesla troopers, but we'll see. Okay, I guess we can put everyone in here because they don't seem to fancy fancy these these Molotov cocktails. They have much. Oh, or maybe they do, but only here. That's okay though evacuate this building here because I think I want the rest of these guys here to be mobile oh there they come so let's see what Giles can do here yeah that looks good enough to oh oh, 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 oh. oh yeah here we go that's why you we shouldn't keep these guys in here Oh damn, this guy here just burned alive. That was brutal. There we go. And then let's line up these guys here. Yeah, you get more Molotov cocktails out. Those are actually... I think they're not as effective as the normal shots. Or maybe they are against these guys here. Well, lost a couple guys, but that's fine. Hello, capitalist dogs. I am General Krukov, the one who will bring you defeat today. Brace yourselves for the might of the Red Navy. We will pound your little island until you weep for mercy. Things are going well, but I fear that was just their first wave. Take those gun emplacements on the beachhead to help repel any more attacks that might be coming. New bonus 
this objective received. Yep, yeah, you can do that. Consider it done. I can make a dash for two of those coastal guns if you'd like. Yep, yeah, please do that. I love how Krukov has his entire chest full of medals. The naval force has been detected off the coast. The Armada will be here shortly. New objective received. He also has can we do here? He also has six stars. I'm not quite sure. They're sending more, are they? Don't worry, I'm right behind you. Oh, Brighton looks so nice. It doesn't look quite as nice in real life. But still a nice beach. Okay, javelin soldiers shall be trained here. Let's build a bunch of them. And oh, more bombers. Yeah, what did I want to say here anyway? Oh yeah, he's got six stars. I'm not quite sure there's any rank where that actually applies. I know there's... Ooh, a bear. Well, there's... There's full general. But there's also marshal, which is a rank in a couple of countries. The Soviet Union had the marshal of the Soviet Union. Germany used to have field marshals. I'm not quite sure. I thought they only had five stars, but I don't know. I guess it's just made up. Which is probably the case. So there we go. And Giles, you wanna you wanna take care of these guys here? And take that coast gun and not get your engineer killed? Nope, you do want to get your engineer killed. Well enemy units detected. I guess it did work out in the end, didn't it? So you guys join me here and what are you going to drop now? That's the question. Oh just more guys. That's okay. Boom. They never knew what hit them. Hey Has to feel really bad. Imagine you're parachuting into a group of guys with shotguns. That has to be a terrible feeling. Hospital is still unharmed. Don't recall there being a hospital right at the coast in Brighton. But hey, maybe I'm just remembering that wrong. In any case. Do you have your white flag ready, Commander? <laughs> I don't know, I think that that's hilarious for some reason. Can't really put my finger on it. But yeah, I think for some reason that's that's the funniest thing I've seen in a while. Anyway, I guess it's time to garrison some stuff here. Provided they actually... Well, I guess if only bullfrogs make it through. I think those bullfrogs are probably going to contain guys. So maybe... Yeah, maybe let's do it like this. So Yeah, they are, they're parachuting more guys in. Hey, don't do that, so... Oh, you, oh yeah, can, you can attack these guys while they're still shooting. Forgot about that, so boom. Bear's dead. Other bear's dead, and boom. Yeah, kill that bear, and the rest will be dealt with when they're on the ground. Oh, one of these guys here, that's not, that's not nice. Well, but Charles is helping me out here. And you can please die, thank you. So let's let's use sharp aim here. That should take care of this guy. And there we go. Boom. Barely scratched the cannon. Yeah, the cannon is borderline invincible, so don't worry about that all that much. So let's do that again. And let's build a couple more of these guys here. And... The AI loves to use this ability here. So that wasn't so bad, was it? Could have wasted a little less javelin soldiers, but who cares. Anyway, let's switch back here. Let's do that coach. Ooh, a lighthouse. Delightful. Can I put guys in here? Prob oh yeah, I can. But only one. Yeah, the, the number of guys you can put into a garrison in this game is just so low. I think I complained about that about 10 times during my LP here. Which, if we're finished with this, would probably be... It will actually have more than a hundred parts. Because there's 27 minutes for both LPs. Solo and co-op, plus 50 for... Plus 50 for the challenge. So yeah, this is... This is going to be rather lengthy. So do I get an arms factory now? I should. But we'll see. Where, really? 
Oh, here we go. Boom. Those coastal guns, they pack a punch. Also, that they, they kind of looks like it, it was a model for a tank at one point. So, there's a whole bunch of guys there, but that's it's kind of Giles' problem, to be honest. Uh, we'll see. And these guys here just ignore the coast guns, but that's that's to be expected. So bear play. Oh damn! So please kill this guy here. Uh, actually, you can do that. So there we go. That wasn't too bad. Boom. And boom. So kill you and you. And boom. Oh damn. Jarl's not actually doing so hot. Yeah, actually I think he's going to be okay, but it's still yeah, could go a little bit better. Boom. There we go. All the bears are dead. At least he used the shields, that is somewhat helpful. Come on, don't do that. That's just that's just annoying. Oh you sh you shot that dog, you bastard. What did the dog ever do to you? Apart from like eating your friends. Don't get overconfident. This isn't over yet. But we'll see about that. The Soviets are about to attack again, sir. Intel says this is the last wave. So hold your ground. I will indeed. You are authorized to construct an armor facility and multi gunner turret defenses. Vehicle production authority granted. You now have access to the multi gunner infantry fighting vehicle. New objective received. I will indeed do that. So let's recall everyone. We've, we've got a good amount of money left. Training. Let's build a bunch more of these guys here. And then let's spam. Multigana IVs. Right right so. Yeah, right let's build a bunch of these. Yeah, right and let's put some guys in there. Because that is what will make them great. So you get in there. There we go. Just so they're a little bit faster. Oi mate. You get loaded with some more bazooka guys. Yeah, one question I could never quite answer is if you have a promoted promoted infantry unit and a promoted IV, does that stack? What's what's happening here? Oh this again, so I guess we should get some guys down here. Coach. So yeah, we, we can we can do that. So you take care of these guys. Kill the bears. Boom. Urban warfare. So cruel. And these guys are very nicely promoted. The hospital really helps here because it keeps all your infantry healthy, which otherwise is a bit of a hassle. You can build these first L tents with your engineers, but it's occasionally useful, but it's oftentimes it's not that great to be honest. So, going to get all of these guys here. So, three more. That's what I can afford. Actually, I can afford, I think, yeah, I can afford one more. Because they don't cost a thousand, they only cost 900, I think, yeah. They're, com they're comparably expensive, but they're pretty good anti air and they're often able to just dodge. Kill these guys. Ooh, see what he did there. Boom. So, you get in here, you can, you can, I guess you can uh, defend my base, so, so, is that the last one? I can build two more, so let's do just that. Do you need any repairs? You're still being repaired. Repairs take absolutely ages in this game here, but at the same time, boom. Bears are so cute when they're dead, so, here we go. And one more. Oh, actually, huh, I forgot. We actually have income, not just a fixed amount of troops. So this shouldn't be an issue if we can still earn something. I thought we'd just get a fixed amount of money for this for this mission, but obviously we don't. So I don't know why we're thinking that. Okay, what? where are you going? So, well, whatever. 
Let's kill you. If you could hit that bear, that would be very helpful. Or do you do, do you really do so little damage? Well, I don't really care. You can stay here. You become group 2 now, and you become group 1. You're my entire armada. I don't think I can freeze these guys, or can I? I don't think I need to freeze these guys. But we can give it a shot. Nah, slowed them down a little bit, but not enough, I think. Nah, but it's okay. I think they're just going to blow up some buildings, not actually going to do serious damage. There's a bunch of Kirovs. The Kirovs are fairly slow. That's our one advantage here. And luckily these, these guys here build, like, blow up these pavilions and, and stuff. Yeah, you really want your, your coastal guns up and running here, otherwise this is going to end terribly. Then again, these guys can't really harm your base. Yeah, but the coastal bombs are borderline invincible. That's a good thing here. So... And these guys here, luckily they can damage, I guess, from the journey. Boom, there we go. And the first one's down. We have to guard them away from your base, because you lose your base, you lose, no matter how large the forces you still have left. Are you even... No, nope, you're not even going to pay special attention to me. But you're going to pull up these buildings here. So please... Oh, you're going to come after me? Let's be careful here. Shall we? Oh, wow. There's actually a lot more of these guys than I thought there would be. I'll be honest. But most of them, most of these ones here are almost dead. Boom. Oh, damn. Avoid the wrecks. Okay, and let's not get stomped by this guy here. Oh, they're coming after me now, which is actually good, because... We want them to come after us and not come after our base. So a little more and retreats. I wish we had a, uh, we had a garage here, but uh, it's, it's okay. We still have enough of these guys and we can build some more if we really need them. So, so let's get out of the way of these guys and let's hurt them around a little more. Boom, there we go. You are... well, you're still damaged. You're not just damaged as much, so there we go. And... You're also a little bit faster than I thought you would be, I'll be honest here, as well. Very honest today. But you got a promotion, well, now you're dead, so it doesn't really matter. Boom. Where do you need your army elsewhere? Where do you need it? This is a weak excuse even for you, so let's try to kill some more guys before we for the escape. You've done it. You've given them back. Congratulations, Commander. Bye, yep, we've won the day. And there we go. Excellent. Jarl has more points than me, but that's okay because I overtook him in the end. So yeah, that was the defense of the United Kingdom. Successful. Thanks for watching and I shall see you next time where we go to France. Take care and goodbye.